Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I recently just did a full clean and everything of my hamster cages, the two you see behind me. I guess you can only really see one, but there's two. There's two hamster cages behind me. And I recently just did a full clean and like setup of my hamster cages, so I thought I would go ahead and film a cage tour of them. I have never actually filmed a cage tour for my hamster cages on my channel before. I filmed videos of me like setting them up and stuff, but never just a dedicated cage tour. So I figured I would go ahead and do one for once and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So today's video is actually sponsored by Carefresh. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring the video. My rabbits are making noises. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no, we're going again. Anyways, today's video is sponsored by Carefresh. I'm sure many of you know I have been using Carefresh for a long time. I use it in my hamster cages, my mouse cages, my hedgehog cage. I have been using Carefresh for a while and I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite beddings out there. My rabbits are still making a lot of noise. Thank you, Thumper. In the top cage, I used their new Tutti Fruity bedding. It's one of the limited editions one currently. It's super pretty, you guys will see it in the tour. And on my bottom cage, I used another one of their limited edition beddings and that I completely forget the name of. I am blanking, but I will insert the name on the screen. Anyways, yes, I used two new Carefresh beddings in my video that you will see and I think they're really pretty and I really like them. So before we get on with the cage tour, I would like to encourage you guys to sign up for Club Carefresh. When you sign up, you will receive a $5 off coupon just for signing up. You know, that comes in really useful. Who doesn't want to save $5? So if any of you watching have any use for Carefresh betting, I would highly recommend you signing up for Club Carefresh. You will get a coupon for $5 off. The link will be in my description below. Keep in mind that it is currently just for US and Canada residents right now, but if you are living in the US or Canada, I would highly recommend signing up for Club Carefresh. With that all said, let's go ahead and get on with the video now and I hope you guys enjoy seeing my hamster cages. So before we go super in depth in the tour, we'll just take a quick little look at the cages. So these cages here are the um, Critter Nation cages. It's actually, okay, I lied. These aren't the Critter Nation cages. They are basically sold in PetSmart. They're the All Living Things brand, but they're basically the exact same thing as Critter Nations. Anyway, they are the same dimensions, so they are three feet long and two feet deep. So overall, I believe these cages measure about 860 square inches. I forget the exact number, but I will place it on the screen. I am pretty sure it's around 860 square inches. So I got these cages for my hamsters a couple months back. I did a whole video when I first got them, but overall I am really liking them so far. They provide my hamsters with lots of room. They're nice and secure and yeah. Overall, the only thing that I didn't really like about the cages is the base that it comes with is not actually a base. It doesn't really hold bedding. It maybe holds half an inch of bedding at most. So so I did build my own bases. Well, I didn't build them, my dad did, but we had to make our own bases so that I could put an appropriate amount of bedding in here for a hamster. So these are actually all plexiglass in the front. Yeah, so that's the bases. So on top here, we do have pumpkin, and then on the bottom here, we do have spice. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the cages, starting with pumpkin, and then we will move on to Spice's cage. Let's go and open it up and take a look inside. There is Pumpkin himself. Hello, Pumpkin. Here's just a quick little look at what the cage looks like right now, and we'll go and take a closer look at everything. First of all, we'll talk about the bedding. As I told you guys before, that um, Carefresh is sponsoring this video, and they're one of my favorite beddings to use. So with that said, I am using the Carefresh 2D Fruity bedding. It's one of the limited edition ones right now. Super pretty and really colorful. I like it a lot. The whole cage has a really nice, colorful look going on to it, and and I don't know, I just feel like the bedding is so cute. I really like the way that the blue and the green and the pink all go together. I think it's really nice. We'll go ahead and start in the back corner and then kind of work our way over into the front. So in the back corner here, we just have one of these little igloos. Um, you know, they're just one of these pink 
plastic igloos. It's a good size for a Syrian hamster. That is right there. He likes to hide and sleep in there quite often. And moving right into the center of the back of the cage, we have his wheel. So this here is a Carolina Storm Express wheel. It's like the hot pink one. Um, I believe that these wheels are like 11 inches or maybe close to 12 inches, something around there. They're around 12 inches. So that's his wheel right there. Pumpkin has gone to dig down in the corner now. And then lastly, in the back of the cage, we have his little wooden hut. He really likes this. He's been using this for so long. I got this like, I don't know, almost like a year ago and he sleeps in it all the time. Sorry everyone, my car just ran out of storage so I just had to go and grab a new one real quick. And I believe we left off on this house so I'll go back to it also. If you hear, yeah, this is like his favorite house ever. He sleeps in there all day. This is pretty well the only spot he sleeps. Sometimes he goes in this igloo but like I would say like 90% of the time he's in here. So I pretty well always include that in here his cage as it's just one of his favorites. And then moving over here, we have a little chew toy. It's just one of these. I think they're called a knot nibbler. Um, he doesn't really use it too much. I find pumpkin doesn't chew on a lot of things, but I still obviously give him chew toys just in case because it's always good to give your hamster chew toys. So he has that there. And then here we have one of these toys. It's like three different balls just hung together. Usually I give these to my rabbits, but I don't know. I felt like trying it out with my hamster see if maybe he like liked it i don't know so there's like i think it's seagrass on the bottom some kind of willow ball on the top and then this is like some sort of paper on the top and i said this is the top that's the middle not the top anyway so there's that toy there and then right down in the front here i have another chew toy so this is just a little wooden carrot with um hay at the top and then right here we have a nice bendy bridge this is a fairly big one it's the one from petco i got it on one of my trips to the states so um yeah that's there i find he doesn't really use it a whole lot but i mean it's there he's over here burrowing you can't see him but he's under here <laughs> oh there he is hello pumpkin Are you having fun then moving more into the center of the cage, I have a whimsy chew here. Obviously you can see he's been chewing on this a fair bit, so that's good. I know he doesn't really use toys that often, so it's good that he at least chews on these things to help keep his teeth down. So I always give him a whimsy chew. Are you hungry? Getting some food, pumpkin? We'll take a, we'll take a little break from the cage tour to watch pumpkin eat. So anyways, back to the cage tour. The next thing you'll see is this tunnel here. I really, really like this tunnel. It's such a pretty color and I'm really glad he has not ruined it. I got this tunnel a few months ago and I kind of expected it to be ruined in like a day just cause it like is cardboard. I thought it'd be really easy for them to chew and just destroy. So I didn't have high hopes of it lasting very long, but here it is and I'm really happy because it's super cute. Like I really like it a lot. <laughs> and then moving on from the tunnel here, we have another chew toy. This is like a little barbell one. As you can see, he hasn't really chewed on this much either. It's completely intact and I got this in like April. So yeah, it doesn't really bother with it much, but there it is. And then here I have another chew toy. It's again, one of those wooden carrots and hay. This one has been chewed on a tiny bit. Like you can see some of the top is missing, but really that's about all. Hasn't chewed on it much. And then over here we have his food dish nothing too exciting it's just a hamster food dish with hamster food in it and then right here we have his water bottle so that's basically everything in his cage here he has his bedding some hide houses his wheel bendy bridge tunnel chew toys food and water and then of course we have pumpkin himself who is super adorable and i love him a lot he's such a good little hamster
Okay, and now down here we have Spice's cage. Sorry the lighting isn't the greatest. Obviously her cage is kind of shadowed by Pumpkin's cage here, so there is kind of a bit of a shadow in here you can see, but hopefully it's still okay. So Spice tends to be a lot more destructive with her cages than Pumpkin is. As you can see, she built like a big pile of bedding over there and things are just jet like overall a little messier. Her cage isn't dirty by any means. I've literally just cleaned it, so it's not dirty. She just likes to move everything around and organize things how she likes to so I'm not gonna go and ruin it just for a video because I don't want to ruin her nest or anything so yeah her clay her cage isn't dirty or anything she's just a messy hamster so in Spice's cage I'm using another one of Carefresh's limited edition bedding this one is oh I forget the name of it it was I'll put the name of it on the screen because I completely forget but this one's like a mixture of like hello Spice of light blue and dark blue bedding and it's another really pretty one so I really really enjoy it what are you doing Hello, hello, what are you doing? For her cage tour, we'll go ahead and start in this back corner again, same as we did with pumpkins. So in this back corner, she has a blue igloo, the same as pumpkin's pink one. Just back there, you know, nice sleeping spot or nesting spot or whatever. She's kind of dug it down into the ground some, but that's fine. Oh, and in the back here, she also has this little woven apple chew toy. She hasn't really used it a whole lot, but she has used it a little bit. Hello, Spice. Would you like to use your chew toy now? No? No, okay. And then moving into the center of the cage, she has her wheel. So same as Pumpkin, she does have a Carolina Storm Express wheel. Hers is the blue one. Um, you know, I just thought the blue one went with this bedding quite nice and the hot pink one went with the other bedding quite nice. And then in this corner here is clearly her nesting area. She has a bendy bridge here, but it is completely stuffed full with bedding and there's bedding all over it. And you can kind of see there's like a hole down in the bottom there that I guess that's kind of like her her entrance and exit way to her nest. Why are you so excited? She definitely thinks I have some food for her because she keeps chasing after my hand. I'll give you a treat after, okay? Let me film first and then you get a treat. So moving over from the Bendy Bridge nesting area, she has a little chew toy here. It's like one of these little rolly ball chews. You can see she's used it a fair amount. There's quite a few chew marks on it. So at least she actually uses chew toys sometimes. Hello. And then right in the front here, she has another igloo. Just again, one of those plastic igloos. She has also filled this with bedding. You can't really tell because she's standing on it, but it's <laughs> all full of bedding. So I'm assuming she's made another. <laughs> Hello, Spice. I'm trying to film. Stop hogging the camera so it's all full of bedding so i guess spice why are you such a camera hog what do you want what do you want spice so if spice will let me continue moving over into the middle of the cage there's another chew toy here this is just a wooden chew toy you can see she's used it a little bit not not a whole lot but i mean there's a few bite marks on there and then here is just a little tunnel it's another little fun thing for her to use so that's there and then moving Moving over to the side, we do have some more chew toys. So there's one of these wooden carrots. There's a little wooden cupcake here. Hello, Spice. <laughs> and then there is another little wooden carrot over here. And then right here is her food dish and her water bottle. So that's essentially all for her cage. They are fairly similar setups for the most part. I mean, there's not a whole lot of difference in them. And now here you go, since this is clearly all you've wanted. You just want food this whole time. And you left it. The whole time you're up here begging for food. And then I give you food and you leave it. Is that not what you want? Would you like something else? Would you like one of these? Yeah, there you go. That's what you want? No, and you still want out? You still want out? Spice, can you stop being crazy for like a minute? Spice is my crazy hamster and she will be crazy literally for her whole life. She's she's a fairly old hamster too and she's she's crazy. She'll always be crazy. All right, Spice. Thank you for letting us do a tour of your cage and you just hogging the camera the whole entire time. Thank you so much. So that was it for my video today, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you had fun seeing my hamster cages. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't give it a thumbs down. That is mean. Just kidding, you can do whatever you want. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I almost just said my channel is Emmalyn Sampson, but if you're watching this video, you probably know what my channel is and you probably don't 
don't need to search it up if you want to subscribe. So anyway, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you get notified whenever I post. Also check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSAM99. It will all be in the description below, but you know, check that out. I would love it if you guys followed me on there. With all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.